Hey guys, Adam from X4 Baseball. Welcome back to another video. Yeah, I'm sorry guys, I haven't posted recently. I've been sick, like horribly sick, the past week and a half, but I'm fully recovered, so we're coming back with another video today. In this video, uh, I'm going to be talking about how to stop rolling over on the baseball. And I know uh, all your seasons are over, all your fall seasons are over, it's the off season, but the off season is a perfect time to work on this. It's because uh, here's why it's better to work on um, practicing your form. Off season is a good time for form and weight training and all that, all the workouts. So it's a good time to practice your form, how to stay through the ball and not roll over. Because if you start working on how not to roll over, um, if this is a problem for you, if you start working on stuff like that, how not to roll over right before the season starts, and uh, you're gonna probably um, roll over and have some problems in your swing. So it's better to start working on them now as soon as the season's over. So let's get into it. All right, so first I wanna talk about just a few things. Uh, first off, uh, when you roll over, obviously it's, um, your hands are coming over the top of the barrel like this before you um, are making contact with the ball. So you're coming here, you're swinging, and you're rolling over right as you make contact or before, and it's causing you to hit a ground ball to the shortstop. Um, oftentimes, players will roll over on the outside pitch. They can try to go get it and make contact and try to pull that pitch, and they just hit it right to the ground to the shortstop. So I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to get your barrel on plane and a drill you can do. Uh, it's an easy drill, you could probably do a, like a 20, 30 of these a day. A uh, really quick, easy drill, and it will really help you out. Uh, so, what you want to do is you want to just grab up here by the barrel. Obviously, you're not going to be swinging like this in a game, because if you take a bad swing, you're going to clock yourself right in the forearm, and it could hurt. So, and it's stupid to swing like this. Anyways. You're gonna just get your stance, your wide little setup here, as if you were in your launch position. And all you wanna do is just feel. It's called feel drill, feel drill or rhythm drill. And you just wanna feel the rhythm of the bat uh, working with you, working with your body. So you can start in your stance, get your load, feel it working forward, your load, your knobs at the catcher's toes, 45 degree angle, wide base. You can, um, you're athletic, you're low, ready to hit the ball. You're here. Then your barrel starts working up on plane with the pitch. You're working on plane. And you're here at contact, L slot. You're powerful, powerful base, driving through and you want to extend. This is the part where players roll over. They get to here, and then they roll over immediately after and come out of the zone. So they're in the zone, either right up until before contact or at contact, they hit it, and then they just roll the bat over like this. It's here, and you can actually see it in full speed. If you can, I see a lot of players I know um, in the past year or players on other teams I've seen, I can actually see their swing as they're taking it full speed, just like a bump in their swing. It's really easy to tell if someone's rolling over because it's not smooth. It's kind of slow and choppy. You can see a bump in their swing. So when you're getting to the contact point, you want to drive through the baseball, extend straight out to, towards the pitcher. A good, another good drill to work on extension is bat throws. You just come, get in your stance, and just make contact with the ball on the tee or off the pitcher and just throw the bat right up the pitcher's mouth. Or you can do dry swings. Of course, if somebody's pitching and you're doing bat throws, make sure you've got an L screen set up and you're nowhere near um, anyone or anything that you could hurt them. The first time I did it, uh, I used to have a problem where I pull out, pull my head off the ball and pull like, I'd get to contact and then I'd pull the barrel this way instead of extending through. Show you front angle. I get to contact and instead of extending through, I pull the barrel off like this 
and the first time I did a bat throw, it went soaring down the third base line. So make sure nobody's around if you do bat throws. I'll make a separate video on bat throws also, but uh, you can go to occasion do them. But anyways, you're here. Instead of, you need, instead of rolling over, rolling over, this is where rolling over happens. You need to extend through, really feel that. And when you're extended, your bat is straight out like this. And the handle is not touching your arm. When you roll over, that's when it either hits your arm or goes underneath it or gets in like here. So you want to make sure you're wide and it's not touching your arm. If you roll over here, I'll show you two ways. That's extending through the ball. That's rolling over the ball. That might have been a little exaggerated. That's rolling over. It kind of comes back and the handles inside my forearms like this. Extend through the ball, don't roll over. So all you do, that's pretty much a slow-mo version of the drill. You don't want to do this full speed in case you uh, do roll over and you clock yourself right in the elbow. Kind of hurts really bad. Do it medium speed, not full speed, not completely slow. You can do it completely slow. Uh, builds a, a memory in your brain to help you extend through the ball all the time instead of rolling over. You just want to come here. And as soon as you get to contact, you just want to thrust forward. So you're pretty much medium speed, medium, medium, medium thrust. And as soon as you get to contact your L slot, thrust forward hard. And that really helps you um, embed it in your brain to not roll over on the ball. And you can do this so many times. You can do this in your bedroom. You can do this in the basement. You can do it on a field, uh, although it's cold. Do it in a batting cage, include it in your tea, tea routine. You can do this whenever, and then you can even, uh, so, and then you just scoot your hands down and do it without, um, without having extra handle. This is just instant feedback. If you're here, rolling over, instant feedback right there, it's between your forearms. You're extending through, instant feedback. It's not even touching your arms. Very good drill, instant feedback. And then you just uh, graduate to holding it normal, choking up an inch, however you grip the bat normally. You get to contact, thrust forward. Thrust forward. Thrust forward. And you can just do this whenever you want, dry swings. That's all you have to do. You can put a ball on the tee, get to contact, and thrust forward. Just be careful that you, uh, when you go to normal swings, you don't stop your swing. Here, keep swinging through. This drill is really good to stop rollovers and to stop pulling off the ball like this. Stop pulling off the ball. It's good to stay on the stay on the ball and extend through and increase your power. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, once again, I'm really sorry I haven't been uploading lately. Uh, since the off season's coming. Got a bunch of spare time. We are going to have so many videos out. I cannot wait. It's going to be a great off season, great time to improve, get better. Uh, it's going to be a really fun time. We're going to have the A2000 series coming soon. Um, I almost have enough money to afford it. It's going to be really great. I want to thank you guys for all your support along the way, especially those of you that have been with me since the very beginning. Uh, I will be having a video coming out either t tomorrow or the day after about how to get on plane with the pitch. I'm gonna be talking about how to turn your barrel and getting on plane with the pitch. And in the, in the off season, I'm gonna be doing a lot of drills and ways to improve because I feel like a lot of people, uh, not all people, but just a lot of people I've known in the past uh, really don't pick up a baseball until it's team practice every like Friday night or Saturday night. So I really want you guys to take advantage of the off season and get better every moment you can. So uh, look forward to a lot of drill videos, uh, rhythm videos, just ways to improve on your swing and fielding mechanics. Uh, if you're new and you're just 
now checking out my channel I make tons more videos like this I do drills I do equipment videos and boxings I do all kinds of fun stuff it's gonna be a great off season uh, if you're liking the stuff I make be sure to click the subscribe button and turn on the notifications just so you're you're always notified when I upload a new video I can't wait and remember to make a steal